Okay, so I started another side project. Um, I may have said in another video that I was going to come back to this. Uh, this is uh, the um, the lowering bracket for the e-brake, which I've done. That was one of the first or second videos that I've done that I did. Um, and I said I was going to come back to this, or I was going to wrap this in wood. Uh, doing more research on this and, and looking at it, I'm not going to be able to wrap this in wood, or I have nothing to adhere to here. Um, this is probably that uh, hardened steel, which I'm going to have trouble with, and there's just nothing around here to attach to. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to edit this. Um, you can see I've already made a couple lines. Uh, I'm going to try to cut this off, cut this piece off and this piece off so I can slide it in better. And I don't know, I might have to cut something off here so I can reattach it. Then I'm going to try to, if I can, neatly cut these pieces to where they fit. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm going to test it for you. See you in the next video. All right, guys, this is what I've come up with. So you're going to want to cut this section up, off, and then go up. You want to leave that flap there because that flap actually attaches to the back of that. I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. So basically you're going to take a square off of this while leaving this flap sticking upward. So you're going to be attaching one screw in the back. Uh, I can't see that. but And then you're going to want to straighten this out those two pieces are just in the way so I'm going to cut those pieces off then that screw can't be used because the bracket is using that uh, I originally went for a triangle I'm trying not to confuse you but it's going to be um, the line that's going straight down so uh, that top left hole is going to come off so it's really going to be a rectangle that comes off of there I'll show you what it looks like before I install it all right, so I had to cut a couple more pieces, more than I thought. Just use this as a guideline. This is a straight cut, and then come right when it starts to turn here. You want to go up, and then over right here. There are three tack, what are called tack welds. Um, that's actually holding all of this together. I left one tack weld in place, obviously or this piece is going to separate from the other piece and then I'm going to run a, a, a little bolt and nut right there um, it's not the strongest but it doesn't really matter uh, considering what's going on there also you're being held by two screws or, or uh, nuts there and there uh, but it does work it fits perfectly um, there's the piece that I cut off on that side I did not cut the triangle. I just cut a um, a rectangle off of there. There's the finished piece where I took the rectangle off there with the lip going up, like I explained. And it's going to go through, if you use this bracket, I'm not sure how all the brackets are, but this one, the Sportscraft bracket, the one that it comes with, allows you to use that nut or I'm sorry that bolt and this one is coming through the bracket so it's going to be a little bit offset but not enough to notice with your eyes so there you go that's the bracket reinstalled it barely misses the way I cut it there um, but it doesn't rub and that's it so that's how you do the, the bracket cutting. Not really sure if I'm going to build a wooden box around this or if we're going to use the existing uh, components, the case that it came with, and cut it. I don't know yet. Uh, see you in the next video. Okay, so I got the bracket back installed. It looks good. Um, now I need to take the bottom piece and I'm going to cut I'm just going to be very close to this hole. I've got to cut right about here, and i got to cut here to cut this section out. 
All right, so that's what it looks like once it's cut. You'll have to raise the e-brake. And I was able to do this without damaging really anything. Um, if you take care and you're precise, you're not going to have a problem. And it fits. I just have to pop it down. Oh, it does hit the top there. I think I'm going to have to cut it a little bit lower and then I'll have to custom do something for the top piece. I wasn't planning on that. Okay. Okay, so looking at this more closely, it does angle too much. I didn't think it would, but you're going to have to put a spacer there that equates to whatever size this bracket is because it is moved over enough to where it's causing an issue with it going down. Um, I'm going to have to cut this piece just right here, go down and over. Uh, and then this, I unfortunately, from the looks of it, you're going to have to cut straight down, which is not what I wanted to do. Cutting from the bottom is not an option, by the way. I've already looked into that. And there's clips down there, unless I find another way to uh, attach it, which would be too difficult, and I don't feel like putting that much energy into this project. Um, I think I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to put the spacer there, uh, and then I'm going to cut that piece oh. this piece here I'll let you know okay guys uh, it worked out perfectly um, I cut it down in the front I used a table saw and I just started right where it started to, to angle in on both sides uh, when the e-brake is in the uh, not engaged position it covers all that up so it actually looks not bad at all um, I did find that the um, swivel sort of touched here barely but because we've cut the 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 metal frame so much it's actually very pliable and i just pushed it down a little bit and i i mean we're talking an eighth of an inch maybe and there you go it's perfect there's even more room to bend it down if i have to uh but that's the end of this project I hope this was helpful. I think it looks good. And if you want to even go more crazy, you could cover this up with some uh, some cloth or carpeting or whatever they do in the, uh, the auto seat industry. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, but I'm happy with it. I don't think we're going to do anything with it. Uh, I think I think it looks good. All right. See you in the next one.